Portal Pro is very easy to set up. Just pull on the back seat and lift at the same time to get the back legs off the ground. Then lock the cam locks in place and do the same with the armrest. Now the chair is ready to sit in. But first we're going to adjust the height and angle of the chair after we take off the plastic covering of the rubber feet. The cable system is how we adjust the height of the chair. In the lowest height settings, we can see that the client is relatively low down and angled forward. In this time-lapse photography, we can see that as we change the height of the cable, we can change the height of the chair. The client is becoming more vertical and is at the same time raising up higher off the ground. In order to do this, we lift the back of the chair and get the rear feet off the ground and take out the little Z-clip out of its hole. The higher settings are good for taller therapists and the lower settings are better for shorter therapists. Generally, I suggest starting in the third or fourth hole from the bottom. We reinsert the clip and pull back until there's tension in the cable and at the same time we make sure that the Z-clip is parallel to the tube and here you can see there's no slack in the cable almost. Then we adjust the height of the seat. This not only adjusts the height of the seat but at the same time changes the angle of the seat. The best general position to shoot for is to have the plane of the seat intersect the front of the leg rest pads. Next we will take out the face rest by loosening both cam locks and the knobs and if we take off the pad with the backer plate we can flip it over and put the cam locks on the side of our stronger hand. I recommend you do this when you first get your chair. After that you won't need to do it again. Then you need to select what kind of face rest covers you want to use. We have flannel covers, which you can buy from Oakworks, which are very comfortable and washable and fit the face rest. And we also sell nurses' caps as protectors. And on the box, they show you how to cut the nurses' cap and make this little V shape. And you just tuck that underneath there. These are very inexpensive and work quite well. To get your client on your chair, first show them how to get on the chair by straddling and holding on to the chest pad. Ask them to sit and hold on to the chest pad and release both cam locks on the face rest and the knobs. Now the face rest can be brought to any position that's comfortable for them. Tell them to rest their forehead on the pad and lean forward until they're comfortable. A little communication is usually necessary to find the most comfortable spot for your client. Then lock the two cam locks and then the knobs. It's important to do it in this order. Then we can adjust the height of the armrest and the angle of it by releasing the cam lock on the armrest and lifting it until we can see their forearms are in good contact with the pad and their shoulders are slightly rounded. At this point, we can lock the cam lock and then just the length of the strap by pulling on it. Now your client is ready to be worked on. Here's some other helpful ideas. For taller or thinner clients, generally the face rest being located forward is the best idea. For shorter or obese or large breasted clients, the face rest moving backwards towards them will be more comfortable. And with all clients, you can adjust the width of the pad to make sure their face is supported comfortably and they won't be pushed through by taking the pad off of its little backer plate and adjusting the width. We can also adjust the chest pad. It's attached with Velcro and can be moved up and down and turned sideways. You can experiment with this to see what's comfortable. For most clients, there's no need to adjust it at all. We also have the triangular shaped sternum pad, which is excellent in a vertical position for doing shoulder work or for working on large breasted clients. If we lower the armrest down out of the way, it'll allow us to have more freedom of movement for the arms. 
In this way, shoulder work is extremely easy on the Portal Pro, and you can get more work done on the Portal Pro than you could on a treatment table. By supporting the, heck, the head and neck area, you can feel comfortable that your client is relaxed while you do the shoulder work. The Portal Pro is a great product to use for any upper body work that you would want to do on athletes. And the sternum pad can also be turned in a horizontal direction. In this way, when located on the ribs just below the breasts, it's extremely comfortable for pregnant women. If you have someone who's having a hard time getting up to a comfortable position and using the face rest, adjust the height of the seat angle a little higher. To change the amount of knee flexion, you'll find it's more comfortable at the high heights than it is at the lower heights. But at any height that you set the chair at, you can always tell your client to put their feet flat on the ground if that's more comfortable for them. You can also use a stool, such as this one sold by Oakworks, to help you make your work easier. It's adjustable in height and on wheels. In this way, you can move around your client and sit down comfortably while you do your work. You can also have your client sit backwards in the chair. You could take the face rest pad off and turn it upside down and use it as a cervical support. But the sternum pad works even better for this purpose. Just install it on the face rest platform and release your cam locks and knobs and move it to a position which is closer to the client than you would normally put the face rest. And locate it so that the point of the pillow will be in the cervical region of your client. You can do this while they're sitting down or you can take a guess at it before they sit down. Have the client sit down. For shorter clients, they will find this position is not comfortable because their feet will not reach the ground. For medium and taller clients, that won't be a problem. In this way, it makes it very easier to work on the anterior parts of your client and to work on their feet and legs. To fold up your chair, make sure that the push button is in the third hole from the bottom. This is very important. Then lean your chair forward and push the seat in as shown. Drop down your armrest and relock the cam and do the same on the face rest. Put your foot on the wheels to keep the chair stabilized. The new wheels make it very easy to move the Portal Pro around. Next, let's adjust the position of the face rest so that we can grab the spacer tube shown here easily for pulling the Portal Pro. Loosen the knobs and retighten them so that it's easy to grab and hold on to the spacer tube. Then, simply lean the chair over and pull it behind you. It's designed to protect the pads and keep them far off the ground and roll on any surface. To carry your Portal Pro, rest the seat against your hip and grab onto one of the main tubes. It's shown here with the optional shoulder strap. The optional carrying case makes it even easier to carry, but first you'll have to flatten out the chair as much as possible. So release the cam lock on the armrest and take the tension out of the strap system to fold it down as flat as possible. Take the face rest and fold it down as flat as possible also. Then take your carrying case with the zipper most of the way open and drape it over the top of the chair as it's standing and zip down as far as you can. Then put the chair on its side and bring it up over the top and close it all the way. It's important that the chair is folded down very flat in order to get it to fit. The carrying case protects your chair and makes it even easier to carry. It comes with its own shoulder strap and a set of handles.